So as promised, today I have another not timepiece to show you guys. This is their automatic sports watch. It is a 40 millimeter watch. It is called the AT-40. Now you may remember I featured their chronograph on the channel. That was a column wheel vertical clutch chronograph. It was powered by an NE88, which is essentially a Seiko 8R movement one of Seiko's higher end movements. And it also had a case that came from a manufacturer that supplies Grand Seiko. So you're getting Grand Seiko level finishing on the case. This watch gets a case from that same manufacturer. However, it does not get a Seiko movement. It gets a Miyota movement. So it is a lot cheaper than even that chronograph that I featured. Now that chronograph was only $1,100. Now you might know that Seiko recently came out with some watches with 8R movements in them, and they are charging over $3,000 for those watches. So that $1,100 is a really good price, but this is even better than that. So you're getting a Miyota 9000 series in here. It's a 9015. You have a date at three o'clock, and you can see that Miyota 9015 from the back. You get a sapphire crystal front and back, and it is 11.4 millimeters thick. It's actually pretty thin considering that you can see the movement and you get 200 meters of water resistance. This is a sports watch, like I said at the beginning of the uh, video. So you're getting a screwed in crown and a screwed in case back, 200 meters of water resistance. You do get 60 minute counter on the actual bezel. It does not rotate. That's because it is a sports watch, not a dive watch. I would love to see them come out with a dive watch. Maybe this watch with a rotating bezel. That would be pretty awesome. Um, the crown is really nice. It's a 40 millimeter watch, as I mentioned. So it's a 40 millimeter, it's like a true 40 millimeter. I measured 39.9 when I measured it. I mentioned that it's 11.4 millimeters thick, and then you get a 30, a 48 millimeter lug to lug. You get drilled lugs on here as well. Uh, the actual lug width is 18 millimeters, and there are a whole bunch of straps that you can actually use with this case. Uh, not only can you use it with this case, but you could use it with the chronograph. So say you own the chronograph and the sports watch, you could use uh, the straps on both. I'm going to do some videos and pictures of this watch on different straps, uh, including the strap that is this knotted strap that actually comes on the chronograph. So I have the chronograph on my wrist today. Uh, I'll show it to you in just a minute when I do a wrist shot. Um, so really nice proportions. This gets, um, currently I have it on, it does not come with this. Uh, I have it on their Japanese denim strap, which is really beautiful. It's handmade in Japan. It even says it made in Japan, handmade. Um, and it gets Japanese denim on here. Beautiful strap, it's leather, it's denim, uh, just very stylish might not like it. It depends on uh, what you like, but I do like it. I think it looks really, really good. So this comes in at $750 here in the US. $750 gets you a watch that was actually finished in a Grand Seiko level factory. So it's not Grand Seiko finishing technically. It's a factory that actually finishes cases for Grand Seiko, creates cases for Grand Seiko and finishes them. So you're getting something that has that level of finish however, is not actually a Grand Seiko case. Kind of cool. And then you're getting a 9015 inside. Uh, you also get a beautiful blue dial. Uh, they have a few different colors. I think there's white, blue, and black. Uh, this gets a blue chapter ring, applied indices, Hands have uh, loom in them. Also, the indices, so the hands and indices have loom. Blue accent on that hand, that blue accent is sort of a baby blue color. So the, the uh, second hand is baby blue. And you have a little loop on the other side, the counterbalance, which is sort of the loop on a needle, I think, uh, because of knot. Obviously, that's their sort of logo. Uh, again, there's a knot on the, uh, on the crown, and then there's a knot on the rotor there. And there's also a knot on the buckle. The buckle is really nicely finished as well. I'll do uh, close-ups of it. Uh, it's finished on both sides. Uh, I mentioned that when I did the review or the unboxing of the chronograph. Uh, really beautiful attention to detail on these watches. Uh, date there at three o'clock, you either love it or hate it. Um, I think it's okay. It sort of blends in with the dial. They sort of added it to the indice at three o'clock. It sort of completes it. Um, you know, you either love it or hate it. I always prefer a watch without a date. That's just my personal opinion. Um, however, I think it looks good. Anyway, very quickly, I'll show you the uh, chronograph that I have on my wrist. Then we'll throw this on my wrist and we will do a loom shot. So today I am wearing the knot chronograph, column wheel, vertical clutch, NE88 or 8R movement. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful watch. 
beautiful chronograph, um, very, very nice functionality. Um, I have this on their knotted strap. This is, like I said, it is handmade in Japan. It's made out of silk, uh, very colorful. It's a single pass through, uh, same buckle, beautiful buckle, nicely finished. Just a really great watch. Uh, I really do enjoy it. I think it's beautiful. Uh, so here is the sports watch on my wrist. And you can see they actually paid attention to detail. Even on the strap, you have these rivets that are for the holes. Um, just a really nicely made strap uh, on top of a nicely made watch. It's just beautiful. So $750, you're getting Grand Seiko uh, level finishing, and then you get a Miyota 9015. It is a very good looking watch. On my wrist, you can see I have a seven and a half inch wrist. It fits really well. It looks sharp. The only thing I would change is the date. That's just my personal sort of thing with this watch. Um, I like the date. I could do without the date. The loom is actually really good on here. We'll do a loom shot. I wish there was a rotating bezel on here. That would make it a dive watch, essentially. So um, I, I wish that they would loom somewhere on the second hand as well, put a uh, rotating bezel and make a dive watch out of this. So if you're looking for a really good everyday watch that isn't a dive watch, this is excellent. If you want a dive watch, let's hope they do it because I think that they would make an amazing dive watch. And if they did it, they could put a display case back on it rotating bezel, um, Grand Seiko finishing, $750 for this. Maybe it would be a little bit more. I think it would be worth every penny if you're asking me, but um, that's, that's really just my opinion. So very quickly, let's do a loom shot and then we will wrap up the video. So loom is really good on this watch. You could see that it's very bright. The indices and hands have a lot of loom applied to them. There's actually a lot of space applied with loom. So it's actually bright and it's liberally applied. Um, is it gonna blow loom bright out of the water? Probably not, but it is definitely bright. Um, and I think they did a really good job with this watch. I would like to see these watches on a bracelet. I'm not sure. I know that they offer a bracelet. I'm not sure the quality of that bracelet, where that bracelet actually comes from. Uh, the watch is made in Japan. All of the components are made in Japan. So I would imagine that the bracelets are made in Japan as well. Uh, that could be a good thing or a bad thing when it comes to Japanese made bracelets, but I would imagine that they have paid attention to detail for this watch. I think they would actually give a pretty good bracelet with it as well. Also, it would have an 18 millimeter lug width. I think that the 40 millimeters lends really nicely to that 18 millimeter lug width. Uh, I kind of like that combination, but some people will not. I get that as well. Um, anyway, I really enjoy these watches. I think they're really good looking. I think they're really well made. Um, and uh, I definitely look forward to featuring not on the channel in the future again. Uh, I will be doing reviews of both of these watches, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be wearing them. I've already been wearing them. I think you could probably see how those reviews are going to go. Uh, I'm really excited about these watches. I really do love them. Uh, but tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.